Let me share a piece of my story with you. Hopefully you learn something from this. Because many of y'all don't really understand what God is doing and I'm not going to explain. Because frankly not everything should be said. But at least I want you to have some level of understanding. Now, the Lord had me face a lot of witchcraft. Right? I'm going to show you some photos, the ones that I can find because... I was afraid of witches back then, like when everything was going on, so I deleted my stuff. Like I could delete Facebook, delete the Instagram, delete so it's just what I can find. So I don't have some of the picture the moment I say a hot picture and whatever. But I can find a few, you've probably seen them before, but nonetheless you're gonna get a different revelation today. So this is me before 2020. So this was 2019. Right? Right here, I was living a sinful life. I was a smoker, never drink. And I opened the door to adultery. adultery. So, sleep with married men or a married man. You know what I'm saying? You break the spiritual law. So, all along, them want. Fire witchcraft arrows that you couldn't work, but because you broke the law, the arrows connect. So, this is when they fired their first arrow. As you can see, I looked a bit different, but it wasn't so severe. I was still chuckling. This is when I was living at the Obermania. Because I thought he was my only help. I wanted to remain as close as possible because I saw him do one thing and I thought he could do all. Learned that I was wrong. Because I never had nowhere else to go. Corona, no church could open across the island. So I thought this was my last chance. Now, this is when I was doing music. This is when intense and critical them reach out to me and to make Toluco moves moves. Here is like the Lord restored me from what they was trying to do, but I never understand spirituality. So I would still reach out to them because I still love them. I'm saying I don't want to connect with them, but I still, you know. So I would reach out to them as my friend, not understanding that spirits in the region. Are gonna fight you because the spirit in the region said no one should rise. So when you connect with them, the same spirit fighting them, go find a way to fight you, and no better way than to send more witchcraft. So this is when everything got fall off. Me know me just get pregnant, my career mash up, went low. Then when my career mashed up now, and I had to stop the music and the warfare got intense, man. They were trying to drive me crazy. It was a lot of spiritual warfare. And these things have a real traumatic effect on the brain when people send so much arrows off their head. You know what I'm saying? I would be walking and seeing people trying to lick me in my head. Like, get a glimpse of death. Sending blow at the head and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I did get physical attack with my head as I told you. Well, I'm in makeup now, so. I got stitches here. Here. Here and here, here, and the same time my finger did break. Now, whilst I was there living with my son's dad, you know, men in Jamaica, you had one at the yard, but those are my friends, but they're really not my friends. We do stuff, but we have an understanding. That was the case. So, the ones that he, that he was doing stuff with that was his friends attacked me too. So, now. More altars are raised up, so the Obia man start attack me. My grandmother attacked me from 2020. Around four altars from a community rose up against me. The Obia man now rose up against me because I stopped going there. You know that God. Then help them and control him. Um, now these girls, I went again in a nest, but I never knew it was a nest. Well, I got the vision, but I never understand it. I was a sinner. But it was a nest. 
I started to fight almost everyone in the area. Because I just thought, see them. Right? See them attack me. Then this is what became of me when that warfare joined the other warfare. This is how I end up looking. Because by that time it felt like the warfare was. So I would walk and feel dizzy. When I bend down to pick up something and get back after stop, I would feel a bit dizzy because it was severe warfare. Right? The only reason why I'm still in my right mind and still alive is because of God's glory. Nothing else, nothing, no witch doctor, no power, no strength, no, nothing could have kept me except God's divine intervention. You get what I'm saying? Now, this is when I went to live at Millicent Shizum. Yeah. So I kind of pick up that local farm now. I move from there, so where I was before, and move now to Discovery Bay in St. Anne. This is me. Okay? Now, when I went there, made myself clear I'm a Christian. I pray. I said, Yes, man, I'm a Christian. My daughter's a Christian. So I said, Good, well, we can pray together. But they were playing church. So when I started to pray, they started to get offended. They started to realize I was viral, start bring envy. Then Millicent Chisholm and her daughter them start fighting. This was how I look now because she was fighting my beauty. She love look young, she's a witch. I started to look like them. You see this photo? Her son is, is black, my complexion got back dark. His eyes are is like him, I almost scared. That was how it looked. You might not realize it when you see me on the street. You might, you might just see me look a certain way. But I do because the Lord is speaking to me. So when I was at the house and I'm live and the landlord carrying up, some of y'all know because some of y'all was on the live, so you know them try to chop me up. I had to make on the police that they always want to lock the gate for me not to come in and come out and they wanted to attack my children and a lot of stuff. Jealousy. This was how I was looking there. Now eventually after that severe attack, I left there. And because they did show the, the condemnation from my bed, which made it hard for me to find somewhere to live, I never really carried nothing from there because the Lord never ordered me to carry nothing. What I carried was I closed put on my back. Then this was when they raised an altar trying to lean my face. So when I'm talking, it's like they wanted my face to start look lean and people would think that if you notice now, even if I talk strong, hey, 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 you don't see that. It was like, which I denounce in Jesus' name. Now when I'm telling people this, they say I talk about their witchcraft. No. I'm trying to let you see what the Lord is teaching you. These things are real. No, it's not that I'm not good with English and I'm a very intelligent person and not bragging. People in my community would always brag on that for me. But you see, after you go through so much things, and you don't really get to settle and rest. Remember, the brain need rest, you know. And after going so much years of warfare, four years of intense warfare, which the Lord is, has pulled me out of and is pulling me out of. Some of the time I would stand before you and I know the words. And when I'm delivering the message like this, I'm like, and people would think, and sometimes I make a mistake. I say the wrong here instead of here. And I know them. That is why you shouldn't judge. It's just because of what I went through. I'm, 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 I'm recovering. My brain is literally God blessed to be able to remember all of this after all of that blew up. See them trying to send worm and stuff in the air out of the things. So I'm teaching you these things are real and don't judge. Not because you don't understand. Because what some people got through would have killed some people. 
believe that.